Hey everybody, what's up? Mike N2MDX here in the shack. Just want to say a big hello to everybody on Ham Radio. I want to give a couple of shout outs to uh, Ziggy and Richie for uh, doing a great job with Theatus. Thank you guys, working on the server, the updates, appreciate it. Uh, big thank you to the guys on 7222 for participating in Hermes Light. Software the Fine Radio, KC2ZUR, and the rest of the crew. Thank you guys for promoting my skins. I appreciate it. Um, like ZUR said, they're pretty much all over the place, all over YouTube, and everybody's using them, and I appreciate it. That's why I built them, so everybody can have fun with them. But today we're going to talk about the new skin pack, the microphone skin pack, and some settings in the waterfall on the uh, RX display. And how you can load them and save them for different skins. Uh, my new method of skins here is a dual layer skin. So this way it gives you that you know visual. Uh, and again, on YouTube, you can only see so much. It's when you have it in front of you and you're on a nice monitor with the uh, with the thetis and the skin up. It looks fantastic, and I'm sure all you guys probably know that by now so um but listen youtube does a okay job you know they got that high def rendering after you upload it it's all right it's not realistic to me i mean when you see it like i said firsthand um we had some updates on the templates we had to fix some issues with the sliders and buttons uh so a big thank you to siggy for dealing with me on that and getting that correct. I think he wanted to strangle me, but it's okay. <laughs> we got it fixed. That's all that matters, right? Um. Okay, so let's go through the skins first. Let's do that, okay? So this is number one. And that's number two. This is a 20 pack like most of the setups I've been putting together for everybody. Mic three, very cool. Mic four, five, six, seven, is eight. And again, you're gonna see the waterfall not matching the skin and we'll get to that in a second. 9, 10, 11, 12, like that classic mic, that's pretty cool, I like that mic, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, a little already 20, 18, 19, Got the microphone work in the world and 20. All right, so check it out. These skins will be up on my GitHub. The link will be in the video. Um, so you can actually download them directly right into your directory, or you can get them to the server uh, when Siggy uh, uploads them to the server for the skins tab. Um. All right, so let's get that up for a second here. Okay. Now, if you're not familiar with the skins tab, let me let me just go over this real quick. So you're in appearances, right? You're on the general tab. Okay, you see that here, general tab. This drop down is where you select your skins. But here is the skins folder. When you open that up, your skins folder will will appear. Now you can unzip them straight into this folder. You could do it two different ways, right? You open up this folder and the ones that you zipped, unzipped, what you should do is make a folder on your desktop, okay? And call it, you know, Mike Skins, whatever, into MDX, whatever you want to call it, and unzip them to that folder and then drag and drop to here. Close down Thetis, reopen it, and when you go to back to your, your drop-down menu, you'll see them all in there, okay? 
Now there is a tab here. It's called Skin Service. Okay. If you drop down and you go to where Ziggy's call is, DH1 KLM. Uh, he's been sending my skin packs to here, and then you're gonna hit the refresh button, and it'll show up all the skins. As you can see, all my skins are in there from the bikes, the aliens, all the old school ones I did back in the day, the map pack, the vintage cars, and so on and so forth. And whether you dragged and drop or you got them from here, either way, you'll see the Mike skin pack in here. But again, you have to close down theaters and reopen it. That's the only way you're gonna see it. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. All right, let's get that off. Nope, that one. Yeah. All right, so now let's get into the waterfall settings. Because um, a lot of people, I guess, don't understand it, or maybe they do. I'm not sure. Uh, get this open here, and then we're going to go to this. I'm not sorry, appearance and RX, RX display. Now, we'll move this over to here. Get this down a little bit, Bob. Well, you got to be able to see that. So let me move this. Right now, I'm just on 10 meters. And there's several of those radio shows that happen during World War II where there's things that happen. All right, fantastic. Anyway. Um, there we go. I just want to see something. Okay, cool. So now on this gradient pan adapter let's start with the data line if you click this then it becomes a gradient data line if you uncheck it then it's just a regular data line which you can control from data line here see it's got that um purple look to it you can make it yellow whatever you want to color it right so for now for this skin here right let's take this skin for instance this is um what are we on skin 20 i think it is mike skin 20 it's got that orange bronze color to it. So let's find that color. Now you can go to more colors um, and then pick your, your color from the, from the map, the color map. Let's see something here. That's a more bronze, right? Hmm. Okay. That kind of matches the background where we're at with the microphone type thing. Yeah. See that, right? Okay. So you want to get, you know, like I said, you want, you want to design something for this particular skin. And you could do this for all your skins. You can set them all up, which is really cool. And I'm going to show you some. Um, let's see something. See, this is getting fancy schmancy. You see that? It's black. Not a lot of people like that, but what's what's the theme of this, right? We're going we're going accordingly to the theme, right? Now you don't have to go with black if you don't want to. And you can f adjust that data fill. You can lighten that up if you like, when you get really dark. Um, put a gray in there. So I want to try something else here. So we got this black chip on. So that's the black tip. So let me see some. Uh, if we did red tips, right? We did the red. We're going to change this gray. Again, it's all about messing with it and see which actually looks the best. And you're going to be here a while because you're going to be tailoring this to, to your likes, right? So oh, let's go back to this. Okay, cool. Got a little purple in there. See that yellow? Did you see what happened on the bottom there? On the very bottom. Did you see that yellow there? Look at the bottom. You see the red line? Look to the bottom of the pan adapter. Now look, I'll put the green in there so you can see, okay. I'll put white and then you could see it changing. Let's do, um, oh, there it is. Okay, cool.
So everything, everyone you mess with, you'll see it take effect. That's that one back again. Let's put that back. Yeah, I like that, I like that. Black, next red, so. Yeah, see how it's starting to liven up a little bit. Okay. Now, let's say you like this setup the way you just did. Right? So let's say you like that. Now, you see this here? These, there's two buttons on the end here. This is load the new gradient or you want to save it. So you like this one for this particular skin, right? So you hit save. And when you do that, let me just show you. This file will, will pop up. And then you'll name it and you'll name it. Let's say uh, we're on mic 20. So you call it gradient mic 20 or whatever you, whatever you want to name it. And then you just save it. So now every skin you load, you have a gradient scheme, you know, saved. So you it, it just goes hand in hand, which is sweet. Because look, if you do this, right? Take for instance, you go to another skin and you go to, um, cancel that. Let's say you go to, uh, now we're on 20, right? And you go to 19. Well, that kind of matches too, right? Let's get something that doesn't match. I mean, technically you can go any, any way you want, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, look, that doesn't look right. And that's why you set up your different gradient files for different ones. But you get the idea. So it's, it's cool that you can actually, you know, design it Every skin, you can tailor it the way you like. And that's what's cool about SDR Radio. I mean, you can really get into it. I mean, it's endless. It really is. So the link will be in the video for the GitHub where you could download these compressed zips right to your folder on your computer. Um, if you have any questions, I'll leave, you know, get my email on QRZ if you have an issue. But I think this is straightforward. And I... and um, Again, I think everybody I thank everybody for downloading my skins, all the skin packs and using them and enjoying them. That's what they're there for. Um, yes. So thank you again to Siggy, DH1 KLM, and Richie, MI0 BOT B sorry, BOT, I don't want to mess up his call. Thank you for the updates and everything you guys are doing. The 7222. Hermes Light Crew. If you guys ever need help with Hermes Light, audio, whatever you want to do, either I'm there, Richie. You get so many guys that know their stuff with the audio. And um, microphone, different setups. NR1R knows a lot of stuff with the audio. He listens to him. He's got some good ideas. Um, you got Dave. WO2X gets in there. Um, like I said, Richie, myself, and many others, many others out there. Uh, great group of guys, very knowledgeable. So if you need help, they're there to help. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I appreciate it. Please give a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share. If it helps another ham out, that's what we're trying to do. Okay? I appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys, and have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy the skins. 7-3 is all the best.